Hey guys, welcome back. It's Renee again um, with another permissionless email redesign. And for the next little bit, you'll be hanging out with Revflow, where we take random e-commerce sites that we find of all shapes and sizes and products and sort of walk through the different strategies that we think would be best practices and um, the redesigns in which we can take the email and sort of upgrade it into more directional, directional email, better conversion rates, and just um, overall leveling up their e-commerce game. Today we have a uh, exciting opportunity um, with this company in particular, Rickshaw Bags. Rickshawbags.com, um, I think overall we can see that they make things, bags and laptop cases and pen holders and uh, whatnot. However, in our strategy, um, which is linked below, in our strategy review, uh, we have seen no emails come through, not on an abandoned cart, uh, not on a signing up for any 10% um, off. Um, I think we even tried to join the email list. Uh, so something I, I feel is a little bit off in their, in their sort of system setup. Um, but today we have the opportunity to create an email design uh, from scratch, which I love uh, as a creative. So let's jump into it. Um, this is the site. We see that they have face masks. Um, they have, I guess this is sort of like a, a carry-all or a, a side sling. We have uh, pen, pen things, backpacks, messenger bags. Um, laptop bags, etc. So, uh, because we have nothing to to really go off of via through the um, email or trying to redesign or step up that game, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of look at the overall brand or the landscape of this site. And um, I see, you know, I'm I don't hate this logo. I think this is, you know, this is fine. This little R mark. Um, I want to. I want to say that. You know, I don't see it. Uh, it. It's a little bit off to me that this is a circle right here. Uh, and then this, uh, everything on the backpacks are sort of square in shape, even here. So um, I think first, you know, in my picky branding opinion, I would change that. I would make sure that it stays square. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's a circle, but um, the... They are in uh, San Francisco. I did a little bit of research before doing this um, email redesign. Um, but the bags are kind of cool. The holders are neat. Um, I think they have a good product. I am, I'm very confused though as to why a lot of these are, you know, uh, square in, in on their bags, but yet the logo on their website is here. So let's, we'll go through and we're gonna um, start an email. I also want to just preface that all of this is live. So everything we do and changing our mind or putting in a new image and all of that, um, with sort of the walk through the creative process and how we get this, um, how we get something like this to, to come alive. So, um, I think we have to start just by assuming that the first email that we will redesign um, will be the first email that you should get as far as a, a welcome email or a welcome strategy, um, like welcome series. We uh, are just going to go ahead and jump into Photoshop and, um, you know, uh, typically there's not a... Um, an exact size email should be best practices are 600 pixels wide. So we'll go ahead and just start with that. So let's go say, um, we'll just make our own pixels. Let's go 600 wide and um, we'll double it up 200. All of this is, is good here in case you're following along, you're creating. And yeah, you know, like that, this blank canvas right here looks like about an email. A lot of email service providers, you can sort of put in your photo and it'll resize it. And as long as it's close to the size, um, you're not gonna see any major pixel distortion. So just so you know, 
<clears throat> All right, so let's go back here. Um, you know, one thing that I that we found in um, reviewing this site and looking at the uh, the bags and everything is that they are made in San Francisco. Um, nothing on the homepage, however, um, really puts that emphasis on these are quality bag packs. And it, you know, it's just sort of the same templated thing over and over again. What I would like to see is some detail, um, you know, and it, it doesn't even have to be, you know, a, a crazy shot or, you know, something. We don't have to have anyone in the act of sewing, but I would love to see that these are made, um, BSA made daily, fresh bags made daily, but, um, these images are are great. They're fine. They're actually this one's enticing, you know, probably because I'm probably because I'm working on a map. But that's that's not even a bad image to have. Um, their brand is a is a little bit just plain and simple. Um, word CTA, and that's about it. We might end up, uh, you know, taking some of this. Uh, let's just kind of run through here and sort of explore. Uh, let's go to shop all bags. Um, let's see if they have a our story about us. See, this this is kind of interesting to me because this really does say, you know, look, we've been here since 2007 we've been making these even these icons are, are are nice this is something more especially if I'm from San Francisco I'm more in uh, more inclined to purchase this uh, that I know that they're made here um, I know that they also have <clears throat> I know that they also have a video. Let's see what they have on their YouTube. Apply. The who, the what, that's fascinating stuff. Yep, yeah, Rickshaw Bagworks even has the The name Rickshaw is in fact too. a Japanese uh, word. It comes from Jin Ricky Shaw, which means human strength vehicle. It was powered bags, but you know we, we're constantly, as we grow, adding these new systems and efficiencies. And super old time in my day, I you know help trim bags or roll the door up every day. Let the so <laughs> I know this is from the video, but this is also a nice shot right here. Roll the door up every day. Let the sun shine in and let the jeans going. You, you can almost hear the echo of it uh, from Friday or you can anticipate that it's going to happen on Monday morning. And um, that's really the theater of manufacturing. And we don't see that anymore. My favorite part of the job, just coming from a creative background, is the amount of creative license we're allowed to have here. Um, we're coming out, we want to post amazing. Because, uh, well, okay, not, so not this is really person, awesome and interesting. But I think to every talk bag that leaves here um, a metaphysical person. I think when people see the process involved and the work, um, involved in creating a product, um, it does place more emphasis on the value of the product. And I think what we can do as far as uh, email marketing <laughs> um, purposes is to really try to tell this story. So I think, um, let's just go ahead and let's start here. Um, I'm going to grab this as a, a screenshot. I'm just going to grab uh, maybe a couple more. I like this too. That's fun. That's kind of nice. It's just a little bit extra aura. When people get it, they have a little bit more appreciation for it. And so that's good stuff. Oh. Yep. And um 
honestly, I am going to also just grab this. All right. Um, nice. Usually a lot of good things in a video and, and the website is good. I think that the messaging could just be, be a little more prominent, a little more there in your face. All right. So um, I also like these things. Let's see if I can just take these. No, it's going to be a, a WEP. I will, um, I will take a screenshot of these. <clears throat> and in this welcome email, ooh, these are some cool funky bags. In this email, I think the purpose is going to be a welcome email. Uh, we're going to assume 10% off um, just so we can get that person back into the door. Uh, we will, you know, explain that there's free shipping. Rem we'll remind them that there's free shipping on one million dollars or more. Um, tote bags, bags, uh, accessories. I'm just trying to run through and, um, in my mind, what might be a, a good seller or what might be a a good thing to showcase. Um, I do like some of their funky bags. Um, I am seeing a pretty clean look overall, but also this sort of like these lifestyle shots uh, seem to be what, what Rickshaw Bags is about. Let's jump back to the homepage, um, Fresh Bags. And, um, let's go ahead and just see what this, what font they're using. This is... Monstera. Okay, so we have we have that Monstera, and that is pretty a uh, a simple CTA. So we'll so we'll make sure that we maintain the brand, right? The brand of that this is the same font. This is bold Monstera uh, font, and this is a CTA that is also white. Um, all right, let's let's just jump into here. Uh, I do like this square logo, so we'll start with that. Um, we will take, you know, in their website, it doesn't even say rickshaw bags. It just says it on the um, up here. So we'll take this, and um, you know, it's hard because I don't want to change too much, but I do want to maintain this part of it and let's just let's stick with this and see where it goes so um, <clears throat> center this up we have a nice center logo. Maybe that's too small. Maybe it's not. Um, oops. Uh, we really do want that person or the, uh, you know, whoever's finding this email to go, wow, this is a nice email. I want to go back to the site. So it making sure to convey that in just an email um, it's really important i we always feel as um especially just as an industry to make sure that you're displaying your product in the best light that you can um it's just it's in, it's important to do um let's see do i like that Getting real picky here with this sort of this is the gray slash gradient um, 
box. And of course, I'm recording, so my computer's going to be going just a little slower. Um, let's go ahead and we'll just give a little space on that. All my designers out there, you feel me, you get it. We need to be picky. This stuff matters. All right, so that's good uh, to start. And then let's go ahead and kind of really decide what, what we want to put in there. And I think what would be really nice to put in there, um, boy, maybe making sure that they know, well, they, ha they have to know it's a bag, but I also want them to know it's, it's well made. I kind of like this uh, picture. I think we could do, I think it gives it like some stitching. Oh, sorry. I think it gives it some stitching detail here. Um, and then, you know, each bag is sort of different and unique. So in case they're coming for this more plain bag or this more um, sort of like purse looking like bag, we can get all of those in one. So let's go ahead and reuse that one just to start, just to get some things rolling. We might switch our minds. Um, <clears throat> but that's, I don't know, it's already looking pretty nice. So again, it's just a screenshot from the YouTube uh, video, which I definitely liked. And I think that the YouTube video has told a lot more of the story and gave me a reason to really feel like, oh, I wanna, I wanna purchase that. Even when the girl was talking about, you know, her love of making bags, it, it's enticing to to hear some of that. So we don't want the play bar, and that should be good. Um, let's go ahead and see what a welcome message would look like on top of this. We might have to just back down the um, the image there. So let's go. Or just say welcome. Um, you know, nice, nice to get something. <laughs> uh, bold is probably theirs. Yeah, and let's see, we'll stick with their. This is, you know, very much maintaining their brand. Um, simple, all caps, and uh, you know, we're gonna center it up just because I think that. Our welcome message is going to have to say something along the lines of 10% off or um, 10% off, 15% off, or just a reminder we have free shipping. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's not bad. Um, We'll multiply that. I think it, it hints at a little bit more of their brand. You know, they have all of these. And actually, it's a little uh, little unsaturated. The, this photo right here is just a little unsaturated. So we're going to try to match, not this one, that's pretty saturated, but this one has that look. This one has that look. Um, we can do that, no problem. Let's go to... Desaturation. Although I'm not totally sold on that, um, but that's okay. And uh, maybe we'll need some contrast, brightness, contrast. Yeah, it's, it's like a little less contrast, you can see. So now, you know, it's really starting to feel like the rest of their, their brand. Um, brightness doesn't matter. But you can tell the difference just in boldness and this that looks a little bit more like them. <clears throat> okay, so for the messaging here, we're not, we would spend much more time a person that actually does copywriting would do this, but I'm just gonna say, uh, Bags. Um, welcome. 
enjoy. Maybe I'm trying to think of like enjoy ten percent off when you come back. We'll just say with with coupon. With code. It's looking okay. Maybe this logo is a little um it's now looking like a little less sharp to me. So I'm gonna picky, but uh, let's see. Open. That's better. Welcome. Enjoy, enjoy ten percent off with code discount ten. So I think I'm gonna say with code. No, I think I think we'll keep that there. Um, and then let's we'll just have a uh, shop. Gonna say shop now. Sometimes this these direct sort of messages work best because people need to be told what to do. Um, theirs is a pretty simple, not rounded, very sharp. <clears throat> Let's see if it. Well, close. Not as big. And uh, definitely, this is much more spread out. You can see the font is it's the eye for matching design, or for matching designs. The eye for matching design. You should see my wardrobe, though. It's like it. It's like I just go completely blind when that happens. Um, all right, so that looks uh, that looks okay. We have some spacing issues. Let's see if we can um, let's see if we can remedy this. Not bad. Um, let's we'll go ahead and just crunch this up just so they know it's that shop now. Um, we will do. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. I, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to take off all the details from this. Oops. I want to. I want to keep some of these details. I just really want them to know that focus is is here, right? Doing this, we are simply just uh, applying. We're just applying a little bit more dark in the background. You can see that. Um, okay, now my next point in this email is to really make sure that they know these bags are quality made. So, welcome, enjoy 10% off. Um, now, with code discount 10, you're like, you're really starting to feel like you want this. Uh, you want to use this code now. It's you don't want it to just sit there anymore. And um, I think in this next, the next little bit should be a message. 
Um, and I think just a simple welcome message would be good. Let's go ahead and just see, uh, let's see. Is there about us page? So this, this right here could be a very simple, this is about us, you know, we're just gonna, for right now we would, you know, come up with a very nice, you know, You welcome you to our family. I don't know, that sounds hokey, but probably okay. Welcome you to our family. something personal, something meaningful uh, with this message. And I think, um, you know, I do like Fresh Bags Made Daily right here in San Francisco. I like the fact that they say right here in San Francisco. Um, not much else of that. Uh, made Daily doesn't really tell me that these are super valuable. So let's go ahead and um, let me see if I can center this. Line. Oh, text the line left. There we go. Center. Did that do anything? Yes, it did. Um. All right, where's the centering on this one? I actually don't see an alignment on. on this. Okay, so we're gonna go back. We're just going to take this right here. Um, And now that I see it, I still don't love the circle, but this rickshaw bag, this logo seems so much more enticing or so much more clean and simple. So eh, let's, we'll just see what this looks like first. Okay, so let's go back here. Um, again, email practices uh, should not be uh, image, 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 right? We're doing this for a quick mock-up sake, um, but this should be real font uh, in there. So welcoming you to our family looks not so bad. Would look much better if it were centered. Yeah. Rickshaw bags. You know, I don't really love getting rid of the, the square one. But this, this square right here, hmm, let's see something. A different red there. Oh, hue and saturation. Okay, that needs to be applied, not to just that part. Um. Mm 
to rasterize this and delete. And let's see what this looks like. Let's get rid of our other one. Ah, it's gonna be, it's gonna look gross. Um, all right, we're keeping the circle. Uh, it's too brand relevant to not keep the circle in my mind, even though I, I do wanna change it up just a little bit. Um, and I don't, don't really care for that gradient part. Uh, it's just not really my favorite thing that's going on. So we'll go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna move this down just a little bit. It's nice to though see whatever the logo is that they're coming back um, to the same spot, right? We want them to, to think or to know that they're here again. And uh, I'm gonna crop this just a little bit. I think it's just too much messaging um, for what we're trying to do. So right now we have a logo, a simple, a simple message or um, heading message and a very clear shop now uh, call to action. Make sure that's centered. That's good. Centered with the canvas, that's good. Again, this will be real font uh, or real um, copy typed out. This is just for mock-up's sake. And then get this X out of here. And I do uh, really think that these three things are important. So let's put these in here. Let's align them all up. Make them all smaller. We get like something like this. And we'll make this, uh, you know, a whole entire section on its own. Again, there's so many different things, and uh, in talking to the company or realizing like what they might want in an email, um, or deciding for your own selves what what you would most want in the email is better. Um, but just for design's sake, sort of just to give it an idea. Now, when someone is going through this email. Um, they'll actually see, you know, oh, here's something nice, or here's something um, meaningful to us. I'm trying to figure out if this on the white fits. Uh, I think it's just a little, it's a little big, or this font maybe is just a little small. So let's try, let's just try to make our own here. That actually feels better. Um, but maybe to our owner. Not bad. Doesn't have to take up multiple lines, but this can be there. Better. Um, I feel like they went with something a lot lighter and smaller. If we go back to their site, we can actually take some of this. And this would be the, the personalized message. Oops. Mm. 
that you would get from that. Um, much, <laughs> much better because it's a little more legible or yeah, you can actually like read it. Um, yeah, it's not bad. <clears throat> okay. Um, you know, and then uh, other sections would be, um, you know, possibly another image down there. I think that w that would be nice or sort of uh, telling, even just if it was like just another image like this. It sort of made sure, you know, this, this self-made thing is sort of re reinforced. Um, typical header, typical footer, etc. And, uh, you know, that's, that's sort of the, the gist of what we would do as far as uh, email design. So for rickshaw bags, uh, again, remember, they did not have anything in place. So we don't really have a before and after. Our before looks like a question mark. <laughs> um, this down just a little bit for me. It's very good. Um, so what we did though is we made sure to uh, re reinforce the idea that they're coming from this. They're coming back to the same site, right? Or the same. They're getting an email from that site. They knew that logo. They already. They just saw that logo. Here we make bags. Um, you could. We might even say like, "Welcome, enjoy ten percent off your bag," just to make sure that they know again. Uh, the the worst is when someone gets an email and they don't know where it came from. So they're very, they're not uh, likely to go ahead and click through. We have a, a simple, uh, simple message, very simple CTA, shop now. Here's a kind little message. We might even say like, you know, love the founder or, you know, whoever it is just to make that person feel very, um, very good. It was like a nice icebreaker, a very nice message. Uh, a couple nice icons that I found on the site. I think, you know, this this right here is uh, it's it is such a loving icon. They made it. SF made. Um, what does that say? Make therefore I am Fabrico. So th this is you know some sort of badge of something. And then here again, here's some hands making the product. Here's the logo reinforced. The the whole thing sort of starts to come together in this way that does make you want to possibly go back and check out that bag. You know, now you're starting to like the logo. Now that you've seen it again, you've heard from the founder, oh, you really do want to support this uh, San Francisco company. So um, that's all I got for you. And um, hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you can apply some of this in your own email designs. Uh, or designs in general, site designs, the user interface and the user experience of an email, very similar to the user experience of a website. So leave a comment or um, if you found this helpful, if you agree with some of these things or if you disagree with some of these things, I'd love to know what you would change or how you would have changed it. Uh, I would love to see your redesign if you, if you want to do rickshaw bags and kind of redesign your own thing. And, uh, and or please leave a comment if you um, have a site in mind that you would like to see their emails redesigned or maybe a, a part of their site or their strategy reviewed. And um, that's it. That's all I got for you. Thanks, guys.